Hi, this is Vanessa Nicole from Vanessa Nicole Jewels, San Diego's word of mouth engagement ring and fine jewelry studio. This video is for the guy who wants to present his girlfriend with an amazing custom engagement ring, one that's been made just for her, but doesn't really know how to go about the process and do it right. So what I've done is I've recently surveyed some of my clients who have been in your exact position and asked them to share their concerns. And here are some of their replies. I have no clue what I'm doing and I just don't want to screw it up. She hasn't given me any clues as to the design she likes, so how do I know what she'd want? How long will the ring last and what kind of maintenance will it need? And of course, how much is this going to cost me and how much more do I need to save in order to get her the right ring? So these are all great questions, so I'm going to answer them and hopefully help you out. So if your girl hasn't given you any clues as to the kind of design she would want, there are a couple ways to go about finding the perfect ring. First, we'll just talk a little bit about her tastes, what kind of design she likes, uh, what kind of jewelry she currently wears. This is great at helping to figure out what kind of ring she's going to like for the long run. Another way that's increasing in popularity, especially for the guys who know that their girl is a little bit picky, is when the guy chooses the diamond beforehand and I just set it into a simple solitaire band and then they come in together after the proposal to design the ring. Currently in the engagement ring market, people use 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold in either white or yellow, although white is the most popular, and platinum. Platinum definitely requires less maintenance than white gold simply because white gold is always rhodium plated which makes it extra white and after a year or two it tends to wear off and you can just take it to your local jeweler to have it re-rhodiumed but it is a consideration if you don't feel like doing that. On the other hand, platinum is about twice as expensive as white gold right now so that is sometimes a consideration. The other thing about platinum is that it's hypoallergenic, and so if your girl has any type of skin irritations whatsoever, I would definitely opt for platinum because sometimes the nickel content in white gold irritates the skin. Most guys who come into the studio and say, I want a two carat diamond, don't really know how much one costs, and when they look online, the pricing scale is all over the place. But let me just tell you that when you go to jewelry stores, a lot of them can say, oh yeah, sure, I can give you a two carat diamond. But please don't just go for the size. Most girls would much rather a high quality one to one and a half carat diamond than a really poor quality two carat diamond. I can't just say how much a one carat diamond costs and a two carat diamond costs because there are so many different variables that determine the price. But a great mid-sized diamond can be anywhere from $2,500 to $10,000, plus the mounting, which includes the, the gold and all of the side stones. Knowing what I know now about the jewelry industry and how you can get great deals for amazing quality by going to someone like myself who is an independent jeweler with a no storefront rent and um, not a really big advertising budget, I would always recommend to family and friends to go to the independent local jewelers first. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to get in contact with me. This is Vanessa Nicole from Vanessa Nicole Jewels in San Diego, California.